In this, we're going to look at question number four from the student page. And um, the function g of m models the number of gallons of gas remaining in the vehicle's tank as a function of the number of miles driven. So we want to state the meaning of the rate of change. And since we know this piece right here, the coefficient of the variable is the rate of change. And we also know that rate of change is negative 0 0.04 over negative 0 0.04 over 1 and 1 is if we look at this m is our input so this relates to the change in m over the change in g and so for every mile driven the number of gallons in the tank since it's negative decreases by 0 0.04 and so what is this rate of change so we now want to look at this word so slope again um, and from the PowerPoint is only defined we can use the word slope for the constant rate of change only when we refer to the line itself, something that is graphed, not in terms of context, not in terms of the function. That's always defined as the constant rate of change. But when we call it a slope, when we call the constant rate of change the slope, that means that we are talking about a graphed line. And so what does this indicate? Well, since, since this is decreasing, this means that the line is falling from left to right. So now the vertical intercept that is the output piece of the vertical intercept is this constant value here. So we know that the vertical intercept um, is 0, 0,17. And we want to know what the practical meaning of that is. And so, again, input would be M, output is G. So when the trip begins after zero miles, um, or actually this is not necessarily a trip, so after zero miles of driving, there are 17 gallons of gas in the tank. The horizontal intercept, keep in mind, an ordered pair for the horizontal intercept is something zero. And so that always means that output is zero, so we're going to solve for the input. Again, this would be m and g, and so that means that we have zero gallons equals a negative point zero four m plus 17. And um, since we are adding last, we would subtract 17. And now to get the M isolated, we know that it's um, being done by multiplication, so we're going to divide. And so we know M equals 425. And since M relates to miles, this would be 425 miles. And so now the practical meaning, now we want to look at the practical meaning of the horizontal intercept. And again, the 425 re represents the miles. The zero represents gallons. So after driving 425 miles, there will be zero gallons remaining in the tank. Question also asks, is there, if there's no practical meaning, then explain why not. Well, more than likely, we would probably not drive until we had absolutely zero gallons of gas remaining in the tank, otherwise you would have run out. Some people do. Um, so this is debatable as to whether or not this could be practical or not. As long as you make a statement why you would say it was not practical, that's fine. But again, 
identify the practical meaning, we have to write this piece first. And then if we decide it's not practical, then we can state that afterwards. Now the practical domain and the practical range, remember the domain is going to deal with your inputs, so these are the miles. And the range is going to deal with our outputs, which is the gallons. And so for our miles, the least amount of miles we could drive would be zero. We're going to include that variable. So zero all the way up to zero um, all the way up to and including the most amount of miles that we can drive, which is 425 miles. And again, if you said this wasn't practical, you might write something smaller than this. And then for the number of gallons, we have the least amount of gallons would be zero, less than or equal to G. And again, if zero is not necessarily um, what you decided here, then you might just not include the zero. You would say zero, but not include it in terms of the inequality signs here. And since that G is a capital V, I do need to make this capital G is less than or equal to the most amount of gallons that we would have, and that was what we started with here with 17 gallons.